Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer and today we are testing a whole face of $1 makeup and I love exploring different makeup. I love exploring like high-end makeup, really cheap makeup, this $1 stuff that we're going to be testing today. I just feel like there's a lot of people out there with different price points. Some people will only buy high-end, some people just can't afford it and they just, you know, want to only buy drugstore items and that's totally cool. Like I think drugstore items are, you know, kind of the same quality as high-end items depending on the item. There are some high-end items that suck and there are some drugstore items that are completely fabulous. So I don't really let the price dictate what I'm going to buy. So that kind of prefaces this video. All of the items that I have purchased today, which I did buy it all with my own money, everything is from Shop Miss A and they have a ton of things and basically like everything in their website is a dollar. And yeah, I've got a ton of products to show you, so let's jump right in. first item that I want to start with is this primer. This is the AOA Studio Wonder Skin Perfecting Blur Primer. Right away this primer already kind of scares me because I don't know if you can tell but there are like some gold flakes floating around in this and your girl is oily so I don't know if gold flakes are gonna fly with me. And I really only like putting primer on like the center of my face. I feel like foundation six sticks fine otherwise. It kind of smells like, like good smelling hand sanitizer. I'm going to grab a little bit. Okay, I was going to grab a little bit more, but I'm not going to because I feel like you can see the gold flakes on my skin. So I'm just going to leave that. Uh-uh. Nope. Sorry. Jumping into foundation. So one of the brands that they have on their website is LA Colors. I believe this is also a brand that you can find at dollar stores, dollar trees everywhere. This is their two lightest shades. And right away, this natural color has a bit of a pink-red undertone, and this creamy beige is kind of like a yellow undertone. They both just look a little bit too dark for me. So here I have them both swatched on my hand. This one right here is natural. Ugh, I broke a nail earlier this week. It looks terrible. This one is natural. This one is creamy beige. They're really, really thick and kind of stiff. This one is definitely too pink for me, so I'm going to go ahead and try this creamy beige color. I am using a blender also from AOA, so this one is a dollar, and I am in love with these. I have so many of these. These, The pink one is from their like Paw Paw collection, and granted, I think this one's a buck fifty-five. I also have their one dollar ones, and those things are great. I would recommend their blenders, and let's jump into foundation here. Okay, for this being a full coverage kind of feeling foundation, like it was so thick coming onto my hand. I have basically used an entire pump on the side of my face and it is not covering anything. I feel like we're off to a really bad start. The gold specks in the, the AOA, I have packaging everywhere, the gold specks in this AOA primer, I can still see them. That's not good. I don't want gold specks all over my face. Also, I don't know if this shows up on camera, but that foundation didn't really do anything. I used six pumps on my face. Six! I've never used that much foundation in my life. You can see all of my dark spots still. This acne, the pimple that won't go away is still there. I'm just a little bit confused because the product was so thick on my hand. It feels thick on my face, but it's not really... Mm, and it's kind of like I got a dewy finish, which I just can't handle because I am oily. So I think what I'm going to do now is take this off my face and put real foundation on so I have a good base for everything after it. So I've got my normal foundation on. I used the Too Faced Peach Foundation. Now we have this Wonder Cover Concealer. And I wasn't quite sure which shade to order, but I ordered Porcelain, which I think is the lightest shade, but all their shades looked really dark online. By the way, if the two colors that I bought for foundation, if these are the lightest colors that they have, I'm Asian and I'm using like the lightest color that they have. Uh-uh. This stuff looks pretty thick, so I'm just gonna use a little bit. I'm going to buff this out. So far so good with this concealer. A little bit went a long way and it wasn't too cakey, although I only used a little bit of it. I did just go ahead also and set my face using a setting powder. I know they have setting powders now on their website, but when I ordered, they didn't have them, so alas, I don't have them. 
Okay, now that we're back on the right track, I am going to do my eyebrows. Get this package open here. This is from their Starry brand. And they have these like three color brow kits, which I thought was really interesting. And it does come with a teeny tiny brush and it is literally teeny tiny, so I won't be using it. As far as brushes go, you guys, I wanna say that they do sell brushes. The spoolie that I use is from their brand AOA Studio. This is a buck. And I have some of their powder brushes too, that these are all only a dollar. I love their brushes, they're great. I'm just not gonna go into detail because I don't have all their brushes. I'm not gonna do a full face with their brushes but I do like them and you should give them a shot. For me today, I think I'm gonna just start using this sort of warm brown and then move into this one if I feel like I need to. I know brow powder should be pretty standard, but I do actually like this one. I think it, yeah, I don't know. I don't really have anything else to say about it. I like it. I think it's very natural, I think. I'm glad I got the three color one because it's always hard finding stuff online. You never know what color you need. I did only use this brown color, so I did not use the other two. I might use it for eyeshadow at some point, who knows, but it's a good size for a buck. Moving on to eyeshadow, I have this super cute little bow tie thing. This one is from Clean Color. This is their six color contour eyeshadow palette. And this one is in the shade nude to bronze I assume that's the shade and it's got six colors in it it is super cute got one of the little you know eyeshadow sticks in here that I won't use but it actually looks like they're all shimmery and I did not really pick up anything else besides for some eyeshadow sticks so we're gonna make it work I'm going to set the concealer on my eyes using this color right here this one is surprisingly matte. Just kidding. It does have some shimmer in it. And I'm going to use this color right here for the transition. And just taking a brush and putting that into my crease. It's actually got pretty good pigmentation, you guys. Taking the red in this palette, Using a tapered brush, we're going to go into sort of the center of our creases. Wow, look at that color, you guys. We're going to take the darkest color that's in here and pop that on the outer corners of our eyelids. For being shimmers, I'm actually really impressed with how well they are applying with a brush. Usually I do shimmers with my fingers. The colors are easy to blend. It is pretty pigmented and I have no fallout so far. So definitely a hit for me. I am now going to go on to eyeshadow pencils for the inner corners of my eyes. I have this gold color. These are both the Princessa brand. I have this gold color and then I have this Okay, it definitely looks pink on the pencil, but it looks white here. So I think I'm going to use the gold and see how that goes. Wow, okay. I can hang with this. It's pretty creamy, but it's not like a liquid, you know what I mean? I don't feel like I'm having to tug too hard to get this to spread. I like the gold bronze. I'm afraid that it will crease as I go on, so I'm going to wait to rave about these things. I did also pick up this little glitter liner. This one is from Santi Cosmetics. Unfortunately, it does right away say not intended to be used around the eye area, so I'm not going to line my eyes with it. There's like no glitter there. Yeah, this one just looks like a clear gel. Nah, mm-mm, not for me. And as far as eyeliner, I picked up this eyeliner waterproof liner intense color long wear. It, I don't remember what brand this is. I don't remember what brand this is, but this is what it looks like. I will link it down below because I just can't really find the brand anywhere. So this is what the tip of the eyeliner looks like. 
It's been a while since I've used one of these. I usually like the felt tip pens, but we'll see. I'm going to not talk while I do this. So I've got the eyeliner on. I am pretty impressed that like one dunk of this was enough to finish one eye. I don't really like how thick the brush is. It, I don't know, I feel like I can't show you because it's so small. But the brush looks sharp when all the brush tips are together. But once you start spreading around your eye, it does kind of flatten out. And I'm not going to try a cat eye with it. I did not pick up their eyelash glue, so I'm just going to use my regular duo eyelash glue. I did pick up... And I'm sure you've seen me use a bunch of these, but their AOA lashes are in packages like this. And then also their Kara lashes are in packages like this. I love both brands. If I had to pick one, I think I would pick the Kara lashes. I've gotten more uses out of them, but I do like the AOA ones too. They're a buck. Honestly, you can't go wrong. I'm going to pop these on and be right back. So while these dry, I'm going to move on to the rest of my face. This is the Luella Lash that I love wearing. It is double stacked. It is the perfect length, and oh, I just love these. For bronzer and contouring today, I've got this Makeover Essentials Contour Kit. It is like a metal kit that, oh, drop the insert, but it's got like six colors in them. For a dollar... I feel like there was supposed to be a brush in here, but I didn't get one. So maybe I don't have the brush. And I'm going to go in with kind of a combination, maybe this one, just because it's a little, these two, I think, for my bronzer and contour. Wow, that was actually, like, pretty pigmented. To be honest, I don't think I would use any of these highlighter colors. They're very matte, and I just don't really see what you would use them for. But I really like the darker bronzing contour colors in here. And it's even got a mirror for a dollar. So for blush and highlighter, I'm really embarrassed to say that. So I picked this compact up. This is from Amuse. And this is their like blush and highlighter palette. I dropped this on my way to film. And the highlighter just broke and fell everywhere. So that speaks to like the fragility of these. I'm going to use it anyway just because I don't have anything else that's a dollar. So taking this blush, I actually really like this color for me. A lot of times pink blushes are too light, but this one, I like it. It works really well. The pigment is there. I can't believe I dropped this compact. Oh, I'm so mad. Using like what little highlighter is left in here. It is such a pretty color too. It's actually pretty pigmented, so maybe with what little I have left, I can actually use this for a little while. Last but not least for liquid lipstick, I have their AOA Wonder Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is really worn because I've had this for a while. I actually have quite a few of them. And I have their Wonder, Wonder Metals and Wonder Mattes. I don't have all of them, but I do really like them. This one is in the shade Sugar, and it's actually one of my favorite colors. And voila, there you have it. Whole face of $1 makeup. Some things were a hit, some things were a miss. It started really poorly. This primer, I just... Why does it have gold flakes in it? I don't understand. And then the foundation that I used six pumps on my face and nothing really showed up, but it felt like it was there. These two were a definite miss. I think the only other thing that was like a really big miss for me was this glitter liner. It was just mostly clear gel. Otherwise, everything else was a hit. This eyeshadow palette, probably my favorite thing that I've picked up besides for this blush and highlighter palette, which sadly broke. This $1 makeup kit was great. However, I'm only going to use half the colors in here, so I feel like this is a pretty bulky packaging for only three colors. And from before even doing this video, I love, love, love their liquid lipsticks. The AOA brand specifically, and I have loved, let's see what else, the lashes. I love their lashes. That's all I ever buy from them. Honestly, I have like 50 pairs of their lashes. No joke. And yeah, the concealer was great for a dollar. The eyeshadow stick so far, no creasing, which is very impressive. So yeah, that is it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I loved playing with all this new makeup for you guys, and I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!